What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I am at Gymshark HQ today and we are going to go through... But, 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 I can't remember what I was going to say. He's done too many videos in one day. <laughs> today we're going to talk about common gym mistakes and we're going to start with arms, biceps, triceps. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible and show you a lot of the things a lot of people do wrong sometimes myself and uh, show you the right way to do them and also don't forget if you enjoy the video leave a thumbs up that would be awesome don't forget to subscribe and uh, hope you enjoy this bright sunny color that I've got on today because uh, I thought you know bring a bit of sunshine to the video so yeah let's just go straight into the video Now, here's a few things that's wrong with this. Yes, this is slightly exaggerated. However, I have seen people do this often. Using your lower back way too much, which means you're hyperextending your lower back and you're using too much momentum to curl the dumbbells. Bringing the dumbbells up way too high and locking out your elbows at the bottom. All this means there is very little tension on your biceps. And yes, it's great for your ego curling heavy weights, but you will not grow your arms training like this. Now, to perform this exercise properly, first keep your chest up and shoulders back, elbows in, and imagine your arms are stuck to your sides. When curling up, you should either stop at 90 degrees. However, I like to go just over to give me that extra squeeze on my bicep. Focus on controlling the tempo to keep your biceps under as much tension as possible. Here's a tip, squeeze the grip of the dumbbell as hard as you can, and that will force you to engage your forearms and your biceps. Now, in my opinion, the only time you can swing the dumbbell up using momentum is when performing heavy negatives. The entire premise of negatives is focusing on the very slow eccentric portion of an exercise, which means putting the muscle under as much tension as possible during that rep. And the concentric phase can be assisted. This is in my opinion, the only time using momentum is acceptable, but make sure you use your legs and not hyperextending with your lower back. The dumbbell hammer curls. Again, just like the overhand curls, you want to avoid over swinging of the arms. There's absolutely no tension on your biceps if you perform them like this. Elbows are all over the place and bringing the dumbbells up way over your shoulders, which is unnecessary. Just like the dumbbell overhand curls previously, the exact same principle applies with the hammer curls. So elbows in, I like to go past 90 degrees again when performing the hammer curls, but avoid touching your shoulders with the dumbbells. No locking your elbows at the bottom of the movement. And again, focus on time on the tension on the eccentric make sure you squeeze the grip of the dumbbell to engage your forearms and also your biceps so the dumbbell preacher curls now i have seen a lot of so many different ways people do this but common mistakes are not locking your arms down on the bench so your triceps swinging the dumbbell up way too high and elbows coming off the bench, which means you are just using momentum and defeats the main objective of a preacher curl. The best way to perform this is making sure to rest your armpits securely down on the bench. Yes, it's gross, but that's the way I do it. Make sure your triceps are resting on the bench and elbows on the bench as well. Preacher curls are hard because you cannot use momentum to bring the dumbbells up meaning your biceps and forearms work twice as hard, hence why it's a great exercise for your biceps. As you can see, the eccentric is nice and controlled, elbows barely coming off the bench, and making sure I squeeze my biceps as hard as I can at the top of the movement, as, as always a slight pinky twist at the top of the curl, which is something I like to do. The easy bar preacher curl, now, again, similar to the dumbbell preacher curls, using too much momentum, elbows coming off the support pad, leaning too far forward, and no time under tension on the biceps whatsoever. Again, you might be lifting heavy doing this, but you're almost wasting your time and hindering growth. 
So you want to make sure you rest your armpits on the support pad and make sure you rest your triceps fully on the pad as well. Making sure you don't fully lock out your elbows at the bottom of the movement and at the top of the movement, make sure you squeeze your biceps as hard as you can and keep squeezing even during the eccentric phase and focus on time under tension. I know I say time under tension a lot, but this is so important when performing any exercise if you want to grow. The standing easy bar curls or straight bar curls, you want to avoid again using too much momentum, swinging too much with your lower back and locking out at the bottom of the movement. And again, there is no time under tension as you can see in the video. Now to perform this properly, you want to keep your chest up and shoulders back. Make sure you fix your arms to your sides. Again, remember when I said, imagine it's stuck to your sides. It's not flared out, elbows not flared out, no locking out at the bottom of the movement. And again, focus on the eccentric tempo of the exercise. Make sure you squeeze your biceps as hard as you can at the top of the movement and keep squeezing till the last rep. The cable bicep curls. As you can see, again, too much momentum. Just swinging the bar up and down. No tension on my biceps and elbows coming way too high. To perform this properly, you want to make sure you keep your chest up, shoulders back, your arms close to your body. Again, I actually like to lean away slightly to increase my range of motion and a nice and control eccentric phase during the curl. As mentioned before, I like to squeeze the bar handle to really engage my forearms and which would affect my biceps and make sure not to fully lock out at the bottom of the movement, keeping my elbow movement to a minimum. Triceps cable rope pull downs. So I lost the footage for the bad form. However, this is how you should be performing this exercise. I like to lean forward slightly. The reason is it makes this exercise a lot harder as I cannot use momentum to perform this. And also it increases range of motion. Make sure you keep your arms close to your body when pulling down the rope. Make sure you bring it all the way down and squeeze your triceps as hard as you can, controlling the eccentric phase to keep your triceps under as much tension as possible and avoid your arms swinging too much. So keep your elbows close to your body at all times. And the only thing that should be moving should be your forearms. Triceps overhead extensions. The main thing I see people do wrong is going too far back with the rope, which means triceps aren't under tension anymore and also using momentum to swing the rope and going way too heavy. As you can see, there's a big difference. Elbows close together and forward and not going past my head. Only thing moving is my forearms. And once I extend my arms forward, squeezing the hell out of my triceps every single rep making sure to control the eccentric phase even when it gets harder, when I'm on the fatigue or when it gets heavier. The dumbbell skull crushes. Now I used to be guilty of doing this and I have realized that yes, this works your triceps, but it's horrendous for your elbows and performing the movement like this limits range of motion so triceps aren't fully being worked as much. My preference is having the bench at a slight incline and having my arms raised past my chest and bringing the dumbbell down behind my head as you can see in the video. This allows for a greater range of motion and it's so much better for your elbows. I actually prefer using a preacher bench to perform this so if you do have one use a preacher bench. When performing the easy bar extensions, this also applies. However, I prefer to use dumbbells rather than using the easy bar. If you've noticed, I do a lot of dumbbells or unilateral work, which is great to avoid imbalances in development and strength. The close grip bench press. 
I like to have my grip shoulder width apart, making sure to have my shoulders back, lock my shoulders back on the bench. Having a slight arch is absolutely fine. And if you notice, I don't go all the way down to my chest and I try and avoid locking out my elbows at the top to prevent injuries. And of course, focusing on time under tension when performing the exercise. If you are performing low volume, so two, three or four reps, then of course it's all about shifting the weight from A to B. However, if it's high volume hypertrophy training, tempo is key always. A great alternative I prefer is close grip floor presses. Lying on the floor forces you to lock your shoulders in place down to the floor and also it helps you avoid hyperextending at the bottom which will prevent shoulder injuries. And this also eliminates bouncing the weight off your chest meaning your triceps have to do majority of the work. One of my favorites to perform is a dead stop floor press, 3 sets times 10 reps at a 4 second eccentric tempo. Give that a try, it is absolutely brutal. One thing I like to add, if you find that you cannot perform these exercises without compromising form, then take the weight down, check your ego at the door and focus on technique. Training should not be about impressing people, but trying to better yourself. So, hope you found that useful. Uh, if I've forgotten anything, leave a comment below. But these are standard movements that everybody does in the gym when it comes to training everyone is different some of you might even look at my bad form and think that that's absolutely fine you know and if it's worked for you awesome keep doing it but these the correction of the good ways of doing um all the exercises are what i feel in my opinion are more effective and what i've used and that's helped me um during training so yeah any questions leave a comment below as i've said before um hope you enjoy the video again don't forget to leave a thumbs up that would be awesome if you haven't done so make sure you subscribe thank you for watching peace out